Hey guys, Skylar here. Um, trying to film this video for like the tenth time in a year and a half I lived here, but it's my kitchen. Which the lighting is not going to be the greatest because one, I'm purely lying on ISO right now, and two, I have a ceiling titty and it's a warm LED light, so I can't change the light bulb or put more light bulbs or actual light bulbs. So that is a problem. And putting in my soft boxes here will one make it really really hot in here and two I'm gonna have to move them around and then it's gonna make other areas look darker which is gonna mess with the white balance anyways so we're just gonna work what we got and I'm gonna show you my kitchen because um why not see where I actually bake and cook and pretend to live okay let's go so <laughs> I have an entry rectangular thing this house is uh, old, it is a mess, it was built by the French, well, French Canadians who for some reason love <sighs> multiple doorways. And also you can see over here how it's like settled and it's not level anymore. <laughs> so there's that problem. So literally shoes, my shoes, entry container, and we got a closet right here which is great, very happy. It's literally just like my jackets and suitcase and my other shoes, so nothing exciting in there. Here is a calendar that is from December. <laughs> and then here's our entry, like, catch-all. So top one is mine. These are my gloves and my sunglasses when I leave the house, which is very rare, unfortunately. Um, my roommate's uh, tea towels. Uh, my roommate's, like, vitamins and things like that. Then here are my men uh, vitamins, medicines, heating pad, all that fun jazz. Here is our, like, well, read it. <laughs> Tape, spare parts, and I don't know, I think that says bud, but I don't, oh, you know what? I think she meant to write bulb, because we have light bulbs in there, but she put bud. I don't know why. I mean, there's some gardening things in there, but I don't know. And then down here is a box of random tool items like measuring tape, um, measuring tape, sandpaper, and just random tools. And then the rest are like our power tools that are in our utility room. So nothing great there. Oh, and some ice melt because it's winter where I live. Good times. We also have our key rack. It's just a command rack. It actually has held up pretty well. It has fallen down one time. Um, in the year and a half we lived here, but it's because our neighbors just pound on the floor, which is just above this wonderful drop ceiling. So this fell due to just pure shaking. Unfortunately, it's also not even anymore because not all the pieces fell off. So yeah, good times. Anyways, um, that's my roommate's room, so we're not going to go in there. And um, we have our bathroom over here. Nothing exciting, not gonna go in there. We do have this lovely sign though, because we're in a pandemic, so please wash your darn hands and anyone can use our bathroom. Um, and then over here, still on this wall, we have just a constellation picture. Nothing special, it's like $5, just throw it in a frame. And here's my makeshift drying rack. So this is how I dry my clothes. So we have two little fans and then we have a dehumidifier. This works really well. Um, it obviously uses less power than a dryer, but it does dry slower. Um, I can dry a load of wash probably in like two hours doing it this method if it's not if they're actually spun enough in the washer. So like maybe two or three spin cycles, they're pretty much all set. And this works great. I actually wash my bedding this way. It works just fine. Um, I don't have a dryer hookup. I only have a washer hookup, unfortunately. So this makes do. This is just a like ten dollar rack from Walmart, so nothing exciting. <laughs> All right, so moving on is I guess is this part of the kitchen. Um, so this is the actual kitchen. So this is what you are typically seeing. So here is my island. I did make a video on building this. Ooh, the white balance and the ISO makes this look funky. So sorry about that. Um, but this is an IKEA. Like, it's a workbench, but I use it as a kitchen island. As you see, I have like my roommate's dishes are right here. She has these orangey red dishes that I used to have. Um, and then I moved out and I left them with her and then we moved them back in together like 
a year later and she still have them so we'll like just keep them um i do have some empty space down here because i've been reorganizing so i don't know what i want to put here right now that's just a container some baking dishes baking uh cake pans because i don't know what to do with them right now <laughs> and then of course my collection of whisks which we love and then we have my um kitchenaid are they kitchenaid no, Cuisinart. Dear Lord, my Cuisinart knives, my Rainbow Boys, which I rarely ever use. And our paper towels, yes. And then just moving on to the other side of the island is all my stuff. So my dishes are gray and green because I was obsessed with these colors at one point. Um, I'm kind of sick of them. I might switch just to all white dishes. But, so I'm on that crossroad, but I got my dinner bowls, regular bowls, dinner plates, measuring cups, and then down here, I have my glass uh, mixing bowls and uh, prep dishes. And then my actual um, cookware. These are from Tasty. They're the older versions of theirs. They're ceramic. Um, they're updated ones I don't like. They just, they don't look as nice to me, but I just have them separated by pot holders. Um, well, not pot holders, but I guess like pot separators. Baking dishes, all from Ikea, just different sizes. And then my lids over there, so. That's all that's here, nothing exciting. And the top is just, um, it's just pine wood. So it's a hardwood, but it's soft. The one thing I like about this workbench though, that I didn't really think about, is the fact that the wood isn't held in by these. I thought I thought about it for a second, and I realized these just hold on to this. This wood, if you loosen this, will just slide it out. So you can always replace this and just keep the frame. So that's like kind of nice, if you think about it. <laughs> So once this gets all worn out, you can either sand it and redo it or just get a new top. Oh, and my little trash can that's just from Target. I just like that because you can just spoop it. And then over here is my drying rack, which is full of my dishes as it usually is. In this case, it's my cereal bowl from breakfast, a bowl, purple bowl from when I had some Cheerios as a snack. So I had like two bowls of cereal basically. <laughs> uh, and then some dishes when I made a grilled cheese earlier. Nothing too excited. So the one thing about this is um, these cabinets are mostly my roommates. Um, I say mostly because she keeps her stuff in it and mine's on racks for the most part. So in here is all her, or mostly her snacks and just dry goods. So nothing great. On top she has some baking mats, rolling pins, some iced tea for some reason, and a springform pan. And then underneath this section, we have just the basics. It's a really skinny drawer. I hate these. Like, these are fake drawers right here. I hate that so much. Under here, I just have some towels. These are mine. I also have a George, George Foreman girl right there. And then under here is just some, um, what's that? Like a dish tray so that way I can fill it up with water. Because I have a single base sink. So it's like annoying. So I just fill this up with water um, to wash my dishes and then I can rinse them in here and then dry again. And then I have a second one underneath just to keep the dirty dishes so I can keep everything separate. So basically like dirty, then um, washing and then drying. So good times. And then my roommate's pans are back there with her lids and stuff. All right, this is part of this. This is a real drawer. This is a mess. I'm still trying to organize this kitchen even after a year and a half. This is just like miscellaneous utensils and stuff we need for baking and cooking. This is our actual utensils. So knives, spoons, forks. These are different sizes. I just also wanted different colors. So I got black and rainbow. And then we also have a bunch of chopsticks because we do actually eat with chopsticks a lot of the time. Um, good times. And under here, we have like our colanders and strainers, a cheese grater, my cast iron skillet, which I very rarely use, and then cooling rack and a ton of plastic mixing bowls and some metal ones. Nothing too exciting. I, again, still need to try to organize this a bit better. Like this kitchen sucks, honestly. And here's why it sucks, You're about to see it. If you can't see the bowing, I don't know what to tell you. So to be honest, these shelves don't have a lot of weight on them. Like this is not a lot of weight. It's just, there's not really any support for these shelves. So they just start bowing the moment you put like more than like five pounds on them. But the top is really just, this is my side. 
right here, basically. Like, these are all mine. This is all my stuff. Everything else is my roommates. Everything else is my roommates. So I just have some mugs, and then random miscellaneous things, and then all my roommates. <laughs> Nothing too exciting yet again. And then on our countertop, let me like put some lights on here so you can see a bit better. Oh, okay, so the <laughs> white balance setting I have turns these lights blue. That's fun. Anyways, so for our dispensers here, we have little Skull Boys. So this is our dish soap. I use uh, Method, I like the waterfall scent. And this is just some hand soap. That's from, I think it's Everyone is the brand. I think that's the brand. Um, and the containers are, ac the actual skulls are from TJ Maxx, they're glass. And then this, these are just dispensers from Amazon. They're like seven bucks for each. Very expensive, they're actually chipping after like not too long. Can I get this to focus? I think I'm too close. There we go. You can kind of see this chipping. I've only had these since July. So that kind of stinks, but not world ending for seven bucks. You really can't complain too much. And then we'll put some more lights on for you guys. There we go. So right here, we have our salt and pepper. These are mine in the glass, and these are my roommates. Um, I just have a salt shaker and then a grinder for my pepper, because I do actually prefer freshly ground pepper. This is just shakers, full on shakers for my roommate. This is her tea stash, which she literally does not drink from. These have been sitting here for months. I'm pretty sure they're just decor at this point. And then behind it is another skull. It's actually a cup from Walmart, but she just put her straws in it because why not? <laughs> but you get hidden, so you don't really see that part. And then these are just our spices and a few herbs. And then I just labeled the back with painter's tape. So that way you just knew exactly what it was. These are little jars from Amazon. I think I paid like 20 for 12 of them. And then this container is actually from uh, TJ Maxx, I believe. I think it was like three or four dollars. It's just, it's just a divider, basically. And surprisingly, these fit perfectly. I did not buy these at the same time, so this is just pure chance I realized that they fit together. Yay. And then we just got a very, very cheap knife set. Um, it's like... You can see, like, they don't wash very well. And where's one that can show? Hold on, let me find one that has, like, some. You can see, like, rust on it. Oh my god, get back in. Probably this one, you can see it. Yeah, right here. I don't know how close I have to get to this. Can we. You can kind of see it there. There's, like, a spot there. Like, that's not dirty. That's just. It's just, like, rust is forming. It sucks. But I paid $30 for this set, you know, a year and a half ago, so. It is what it is. And then we just have a very cheap utensil set of random things. And I also paid the $30 for this lovely, um, what was it, socket shelf, I think it's called. It is great, actually. Uh, it has USB ports, it has six plugs, and then a literal shelf. This holds, like, up to five pounds, I think. It's pretty great. And this lovely cord is our washer. <laughs> because my utility room doesn't have an outlet. Um, but they put washer hookup. Like, my landlord makes no sense, but I'll take it. And then it's just like our stove, which is terrible. So this burn is broken. If I turn any of the other three on, this turns on and will not turn off. And mind you, the switch does not work anymore. I guess it like short circuited at some point and now it doesn't work. And my landlord literally won't answer us no matter what we do. So good times having a broken stove, so I have to turn it off every time I use it, if I use the top of it. If I use just the oven, perfectly fine. And then on the oven is our lovely <laughs> fall um, llama alpaca towels, which are upside down. Because um, why not? And then just, just our baking sheets, nothing exciting there. Oh, on top though, is a bunch of cake stands. I have, I don't know if you can see it because it's transparent, but I have the little guard for the KitchenAid when you put dry stuff in. And then up here is where I keep my um, glass food storage containers, as well as my porcelain, meant to buy ceramic, but I got porcelain by accident, my porcelain ramekins. I do like them, they're like good. Oh, that's not like closed all the way. 
Ugh, let me pull one out. So these are, I love the colors, they're cheap. They're only $20 for 12 of them. But the problem is porcelain, I feel like is a lot more fragile than ceramic. So I've already chipped one, like that orange one right there. I chipped that one. And with a lot of things, once you chip it, it's really hard to use them because bacteria will get in. So it's like, now it's just for show, but. And also, just so you can see, I have these little under cabinet little light boys. I think I got them in packs of two from Walmart for like, I hate to say it, $10 a piece. Like, so two of them for $10 essentially. Stinks, but it's there. <laughs> oh no, my light's flashing. I think my battery's dying. So let's try to wrap this up, I guess. <laughs> so this is my utility door, or utility room door. I just keep like my aprons and our, um, what is it? Like pot holders and things like that. I've already burnt myself once. So I went to Target and I bought the ones that are fully covered in silicone. So that way I don't burn myself anymore. This is my back door, I do not use it. We put a shower curtain because that's the only curtain we had and it kind of goes with the constellations over here. So tying it in. Oh, and here's the stain um, from where water leaked upstairs that never got fixed. Well, the water got fixed, but the stain never got taken care of. So that's good. We have another one over here. Kind of see it. <laughs> All right, so here is my macaron clock. I got that from TG Maxx. No, Home Goods. I got from Home Goods for like five bucks. It's just a simple like one battery boy. I love it. Very simple. And then here's my other workbench, but this one's smaller and on wheels. Also my IKEA. This I keep all my like for the most part, most of my baking stuff on. So this is like just extra utensils. This is my KitchenAid. And it's a really cheesy Parisian cover. It was like $15 on Amazon. And here's some extra containers from IKEA that I'm not using. <laughs> because I don't know what to do with them. Oh, and then an iridescent skull full of candy because that's important, right? So I'm still figuring out what to do with all this. I don't know how I want to organize it. So I got like cake circles. I have parchment rounds. I have some bins with extra utensils. I also have like some, uh, what's it called? Placemats right there. I have an induction burner. And then I have tons of cake decorating things down here. I have cookbooks. I just, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with all this. I don't know. I'll update you guys when I figure out how to organize all this. Uh, moving on though. Now this works and get hard to see because the lighting. So this is the cat area. So my roommate's cat does not like eating on the ground. So we bought a storage cabinet from Ikea. It was actually already pre-built. So it was an as-is section and it was like half, half price, I think. So it was like 20 bucks. So we just bought it. And we just store the cat food inside, like all the wet food, cans, toys, treats, all that stuff. Dry food's in this giant bin right here. And then we have a running fountain because um, cats tend to prefer running water because it gives them that sense that it's fresh. Definitely not, but there's a filter in it, so, you know. But basically the cat will just jump up onto here and then just walk up onto here. And she likes it, it works. And then we do have our fridge, just full of lovely magnets and stuff. Um, this is mostly my roommate's stuff. This is mine. And then otherwise it's just my roommate's like snack food section up there as well. This is a rack of all her stuff as well with some other things like a toaster. There's a rice cooker back there. Where is it? Right there. Crock pot and then a bunch of random things like her apples that are going bad because she forgets she has fruit in then it goes bad. Oh, and then up here we have like a we got a, what's the word? Um, electric kettle. And then in here I think is like hand mixer and all that jazz. We got all kinds of stuff up in here. And then here's my food. Here's all my non refrigerable freezer stuff. So I'm still trying to organize this too. Um, I recently bought all the white bins to try to separate everything. Cause I really want it to be like canned good pasta section, baking section, cooking, you know, that kind of thing. But up here, this is just full of um, extra spices and then containers, like food storage containers up there that I'm not using. Here is a bunch of baking things, pasta, and then canned goods for the most part. 
And then all my baking stuff, so like my flours, my sugar, shortening, chocolate chips, all that jazz. And then down here is where we get to the confusing part. So we got like bread items and then hot chocolate. We got snacks, we got cereal, and then I got like pasta sauce and brown sugar and more shell, you know, shell pasta, extra pasta things, oatmeals back there. Down here is supposed to be all extra, so like extra flours and sugars and snacks and pasta, and oatmeal, like, ugh. It's a mess, it doesn't make sense, it really doesn't. And then way underneath is my box of um, cake boxes. <laughs> we're gonna make cakes for people, but since we're in a pandemic, I haven't done that in a while, unfortunately. And then we have our folding table next to it because we don't have an actual dining space. Um, if we didn't have this kitchen island, you could obviously put a table there, or you could put a table here, or I guess you could technically put one there, like a small one, but bathroom, so I'd probably put it like over here. But ideally, in most Eden kitchens, you'd put it like right in the middle. But we kind of need to counter space more, so I opted for an island. And then if we really need a table, we just put that up in our living room and sit on the couch, because we have a daybed that's at, um, kind of like at the height of a dining room chair. So if you put the table there, you'd sit perfectly. So we just do that. But yeah, this is my terrible kitchen. It's big, it has lots of space. It's uneven. I don't know how we can see this, but if I bring you down, you can probably see how uneven this is. There's like this slight bump right here. <laughs> it's so bad. This is, this is it. It's, it's not an exciting kitchen. I am not allowed to paint the walls, so they are unfortunately this ugly blue-gray. We have this terrible drop ceiling. Like, ugh. let me turn you guys around. Like, it sucks. <laughs> oh my god, sorry. I moved the focal point. Whoops. But yeah, so this is it. It's not, not the greatest, but I will say I'm lucky to have a roof over my head, and I'm lucky to have this space, because this is a very big kitchen for my area for what I'm paying. And for me, when I'm renting, the most important rooms for me is the kitchen and the bedroom. I need a big bedroom, because I unfortunately have big furniture. And um, I need a big kitchen, because I have a lot of things. I like to bake and cook, so I need a lot of space. A lot of prep space, which is why we have this, and we have that, because that can move over if I need more space. Um, we have a decent sized living room. I think I'll do a room by room tour once we get there, but yeah. So I'm just gonna, just gonna leave it here. You know. Alright, so I'm gonna turn you back around. So I will see you guys next time because my camera is literally about to die. Bye!